Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to sew a patch onto a shirt sleeve. I'm gonna be sewing my nursing patches onto my scrub shirts. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you've washed and dried the garment. After you get the garment washed and dried, you wanna iron the entire garment. Most schools or organizations are going to be very specific about where they want their patches placed. For our nursing school, we wear our patch on our left shoulder, centered, and two inches down from the shoulder. Easiest way to get it centered is you've got this bottom seam here. I'm gonna take it, we're gonna make a crease there. We're gonna smooth the entire sleeve out. And then we're gonna press a crease into that shoulder. Then I've got my patch because I wanna make sure that the center of my patch is in the center of my sleeve. I'm gonna fold it in half. You could measure it. I'm gonna pin here. Flip it around. I'm gonna put a pin in the bottom. All right, now, some patches are going to have an adhesive on the back that allows them to be ironed on. You'll be able to tell because they'll be, hopefully you guys can see this in the video, like a shimmer to the back of the patch. This means that you can press the patch into place before sewing it down. If your patch does not have this adhesive on the back of it, you could use some fusible webbing or underwonder, any of those types of fusible tapes to press it into place first. Crease there on my sleeve. What I'm gonna do is open this up Got my patch. I'm gonna kind of eyeball two inches. I've got my seam gauge set at two inches. And we're gonna slide it down just a little bit more. And what you want is the top of the patch to be even with this two inch mark. So double check, and we are right at two inches. What I wanna do is I'm gonna pin this in place. And I want my center point to line up down here also. And okay, now that we've got it pinned in place, there's a couple of things that we can do. We can either go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and just stitch it down or go ahead and press it into place. I'm gonna go ahead and press it into place. That's just gonna make sewing it easier, especially for keeping my hands out of the way for the video. If you're not sure how to iron a patch in place, we do have a separate video that'll walk you through that. For sewing it down, I like to stitch on this edge here. It's called a mitered edge. I like to stitch right on it instead of inside the white because if you stitch in the white section, that colored edge, the border that goes around the patch, over time, that's gonna start to curl out and your patch is not gonna look as clean and crisp as it is if you just stitch down on the colored edge. Pick a thread that matches this color here. So I've got kind of a teal color. The easiest way to find a color that matches is to take the thread and just lay it against the area that you're trying to match. I'm over at my sewing machine. I have my sewing machine threaded up with thread that matches in the top for the needle and in the bobbin housing. Depending on the make and model of your machine, you may have a section in the back that is going to slide or pull off. It's called a free arm and what it does is it allows you to maneuver garments and fabric around a little bit easier if they're smaller, say like the sleeve of a jacket or a shirt. Because if you just slide this under here like this, you're going to sew the arm of your shirt shut. So what we wanna do, this is the neck opening. I'm gonna bring it all the way over. I'm gonna start in a corner. You can see here, I've got the bottom part of my sleeve is underneath. I've got my thread tails to the back. Because patches are thick, if your machine has the ability to automatically set the stitches based on the fabric, you wanna set it to a heavy fabric. If your machine does not, what you wanna do is increase your stitch length. 
So the normal stitch length when you're sewing a garment is about three. You want to increase it to about four and a half to five. Take your hand wheel, turn it towards you. You want to make sure that the needle is coming down on this edge of the patch. Then you're going to lower your presser foot. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom in the camera just a little bit so you guys get a better look. I'm going to go very slowly. When you get to the corner, my machine is set to automatically lower the needle. If yours does not, just turn your hand wheel towards you and make it go down into the fabric. Raise your presser foot and we're going to turn. As you can see, I'm still making sure that I haven't doubled up the fabric so that the sleeve is going to stay open. Then we're just going to maneuver again the shirt. If I look in here, I can still see that everything is the way it should be. last side okay. I got just a couple of stitches to get back where I started okay. now I'm gonna back stitch you always back stitch at the beginning and the end the reason I didn't do it at the beginning is so if some of you haven't been to my channel before, my machine automatically does a back stitch at the beginning. So now what we do is we raise the presser foot and clip the threads. What you want to do is you're going to take this and you're going to slide it off of the arm. You're going to pull it to the back. Give yourself a decent thread tail and then snip. And you're going to come to the top side and clip those thread tails. Then you want to look on the inside and you'll see just a little thread tail and you want to snip those also. And you've now sewed on a patch. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and I'm happy to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, hope you'll give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Be sure to visit letslearntosew.com, your sewing and pattern making headquarters.